We're at the City of Hudson Wastewater Treatment Plant in Wisconsin. So what we're going to be doing here today, we're going to be checking their operational values for uh, oxygen within their system. My name is Brendan Woolahan. I've been working with SEH for four years. I'm in the wastewater group in the St. Paul office. So with this ORP probe, we can measure the millivolts or electric potential in the basin. So we're standing on top of the anoxic basins here where they do biophosphorus removal. And so we can lower this probe down, check the values, and if it's a very negative value, like less than negative 50, they're anaerobic conditions. And that's what we want to harvest the bugs for biological phosphorus removal. And then we'll also check in the aeration basins to make sure there's good oxygen dispersion within the plant and make sure there's no dead zones. We'll take this cover off and then plop it down into the water. These tape marks are to give us an idea of how deep we are, so we'll check it out at multiple depths. These tanks are about 20 feet deep, so we'd probably go multiple increments towards the top and then a few towards the bottom of the tank. Does it matter if you're taking the reading at the top or the bottom? Yes, uh, we want to make sure that there's complete mixing throughout the tank. So ideally, the reading that the ORP probe will give us will be somewhat consistent at different depths. So that was pretty solidly anaerobic. You're golden. It's an automatic readout on the screen, but it does do trending, so we can take it back to the office and check that on a graph as well. I think it's a good idea at plant startups to get operations staff in tune with how the plant's operating to start up the project. We could come in and help them out with sorting out any operational problems that may be happening. Maybe the mixers aren't distributing the wastewater evenly throughout the tank, or maybe they're returning too much activated sludge back to the head of the plant, which has oxygen in it. Wastewater treatment plants have been looking at ORP measurements for a very long time, um, and they're most helpful in biological phosphorus removal or BNR plants, biological nutrient removal facilities. It's a good operational check to make sure that you're meeting the conditions needed for BNR. 